Hi, my name is Araya Woods. I'm a mother of three and I am a business owner and a business coach. And I do help people start e-commerce businesses from scratch. I was born and raised in New York. So growing up, my dad and my grandfather were entrepreneurs. My grandfather, he was a real estate broker and my dad had a barbershop that he owned. I always wanted to have my own business and wanted to be successful. That was kind of seeded in me. But as I grew up and I lost my grandfather, my dad fell hard on times, things got really hard. And I found myself in a position where my best friend was unable to take care of her children. And so I stepped in as their godmother. It was literally like becoming a parent overnight. And I learned a lot about, you know, putting other little people first. And every idea that I had, it was, how can I make life better for them? I was actually working at a hospital and it was not really paying much. And so I went home and I just was online, you know, searching for ways to kind of get myself out of the situation that I found myself in. I stumbled across affiliate marketing. It just opened my eyes to social media and the whole world of e-commerce. That idea of me wanting to be a business owner suddenly came rushing back. I knew that if I could be so successful selling someone else's product, someone else's services, then I could sell my own product and my own service. So once I got the idea to start, I did start to save my money and kind of started spending as I go as well. So when I would get paid, I would like pay for my LLC. And then the next time I would get paid, I would just basically starting to collect the things that I needed to get this business on the road. That's how Bella Rose was born. I was winging it at first, but then I started to take a lot of online classes that kind of geared me in the right direction. The first viral video that I ever had, I was just basically promoting the services of a company that I was working for. And I think I made about like $1,100 the first week. And I was so excited because back then making an income online was like foreign. It just changed my whole outlook on the internet. And I started to know that you can find legitimate opportunities out there. In fact, you can create them. So after I did have my viral video, I started to get more messages than I could handle. I basically took all of the things that I have learned since 2017 and I, I started to condense them in individual courses. And that is how Coach Araya was born. I think the first step in starting a business is to pick a niche. Even if the niche may seem like it's saturated, it's really not because that niche doesn't have a you. You might be the one to come in and take over that entire niche. Like for me, hair and anything that has anything to do with hair, also my dad being the barber, it almost confirmed for me that this is something that I would be doing a long time and that I would love to do a long time. When I first started out, I would use influencers to grow my business as well. Whether that means paying them to showcase my products or announce a launch. So that is a really good way for people who are not so hands-on when it comes to promoting their business on social media. So referral codes and discount codes are amazing when it comes to growing your business because of course people love free stuff so when people come to your website they get something free the customer they're referring gets something free and that becomes a sale and what we call a conversion for you so at this point my business is doing very well on its own and it has put me in a position to where my family can live comfortably. I want to continue scaling my business and scaling my business so that I have a foundation for all of my generations to come. It inspired my children who then wanted to become entrepreneurs. My two eldest children have started their own businesses as well. I helped them get set up with that. My oldest has a skincare line called Sire Skincare. My youngest is having his clothing line, which is called klegacy.com because he is like a little fashionista. It allows him to be creative in designing the stuff in the print on demand design space. My entire journey has taught me so much, not only being able to provide for my family, but it has also provided me the opportunity to spend a lot of time with them. I get so much joy out of just recording TikToks and being the cool mom that can dance and making memories with them. I started out doing this to help myself and I just decided I didn't want to keep all of this information to myself. So as long as you dedicate your time and your efforts into whatever business it is that you want, it's definitely reachable.